Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero and welcome to Let's Play Undertale Blind. I am super pumped for this game, I want to first of all say this is going to be 100% blind. I have done a very, very, in my opinion, good job of keeping myself blind to what this game entails. All I know is that you have the choice between killing enemies and not. And I've heard about this Sans is Nest thing that I think was a meme on the internet at one point. And honestly, that's really about it. Um, which brings me to my next point. Don't spoil anything. If you're new to my channel, if you haven't seen my other Let's Plays of Danganronpa or Corpse Party and such, um, I'm very big on spoilers. Do not let me know about anything that I have not experienced in the game myself at wherever I'm point, you know, wherever I am playing the game. Um, and don't give me any expectations about what's coming next. I don't expect you to agree with me, you know, on it being a spoiler or not, but I do expect you to respect my desire to play the game the way I'd like to play the game. So don't tell me, oh, just wait until you see the next episode, or just wait until you get to this part in the game, or if you think this was tough, like, wait, just wait until it gets, you know, more difficult later. Don't tell me those sorts of things. Or don't say everyone dies in the end, even if it's a joke, because then you're priming my, bri my brain to think that that isn't the case, or that... It maybe is the case, and people are just being trolly, etc. If you have any questions, ask one of the moderators on HeroNet, which is the Discord um, for my channel, or in the comments section below. People will be happy to clarify. Now, let's get into Undertale. I want to, oh, I should say thank you to Nate for getting me this game a few years ago when it was all the craze. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Sorry it took so long to get to playing it. All right, now, let's begin the game. Name the fallen human. Yes, this poor human who tripped and uh, made their way all the way down to this area that apparently people don't return from. Maybe this is the area underground where all the monsters were buried. We will play as Zero. I, I'm a little disappointed there isn't a numerical Zero, but whoa. Alright. Why is it getting all all shaky and all big on the screen or something like that? What's, what's going on? I'm a big fan of 8-bit you know, visuals, 8-bit music, etc. Looks like we're just laying in a bed of flowers. Am I supposed to? Am I supposed to do something? Oh, oh! I'm standing. I thought I was like laying down. It looks like <laughs> this sprite looks like he's just laying there. Um, I'm playing this with a Super Famicom controller. Actually, I know that this is supposed to play and feel like Earthbound, but I haven't played that either. So, so far the the visuals, I guess, are looking pretty cool. We got a nice flower here. I've seen this. Uh, flower before on the internet now that I see it. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. You seem awfully cheery. Hmm. This is music too. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Is the tutorial of sorts or what? Golly, you must be so confused. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty confused so far. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. I, I, I guess I'm ready. I don't know what we're, what we're going to, what we're doing, but... See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. There's a D-pad. Oh, oh, I can move it around. This is pretty neat, level one, 20 HP, okay. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. I imagine it's a level. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course, love, okay. I, just tip of my tongue, guys. You want some love, don't you? I mean, don't we all? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. 
That face though, that wink and the tongue sticking out. Down here, love is shared through. Little white friendliness pellets. Okay. Are you ready? I, I guess, move around, get as many as you can. That... I've played some games in the past and my HP being at 1 and that face you're making tells me that... That didn't feel like a friendliness pellet. I don't think I gained a lot of love right there. That's, um, admittedly pretty creepy looking. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Yikes, so, got a quite the 180 here. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? I guess we're in quite the cutthroat environment. Whoa. Die. Well, I don't... Alright guys, I guess the let's play's over. I guess we're gaming over right off the bat. <laughs> Yikes. I guess we'll try and take as long as we can? Hmm? Our HP went back? And... That little... Little fireball? What are you? Huh? This music... It's a lot more calming. <laughs> what a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. My child? I am Toriel. Caretaker of the runes, Toriel. O okay. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Oh, really? Where did all the other people go? Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. The catacombs? This way. Can we... Oh, I guess we can. Okay. What's this sparkly thing here? Is it a shiny, guys? <laughs> the shadow of the runes looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Oh, okay. I guess, um... I guess we'll save because, uh... Why not? I'm a little disappointed to see there aren't multiple files. It's always, uh, concerning for, you know, a YouTuber. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Innocent one. Ooh, this music. I, can di I dig it. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the runes. Okay, looks like a pretty straightforward <laughs> puzzle of sorts. The runes are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. <laughs> I guess we'll be seeing quite a few of them, it seems. What do we got here? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk and not the middle road. Eh, that's very true. Okay, to make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Oh, okay, is it gonna be some cryptic clue that we need to solve already? Stay on the path. Okay. Press Z to read signs. Like I said, I'm already playing on a Super Famicom. Oh, I guess you weren't really hiding the fact that you marked them. This is really, I at least think, supposed to be a tutorial of sorts. Cool, splendid! I am proud of you, little one. I know, I'm... That was a lot of work. That was... Had to really do some mental gymnastics to figure out that one. Let us move to the next room. Okay. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. <laughs> the process is simple, okay? When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Not really what I expected to be told to do during a fight, but okay. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. It's so counterintuitive, but okay. You encountered the dummy. Kind of reminds me of Porygon. Okay. Um, can I move? Fight? I couldn't move my controller. No, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Okay. We'll, um, act? Uh, huh? Check or talk? We'll, we'll chat with the dummy. Let's strike him a nice conversation, right? It doesn't seem much for conversation. I wonder why. Toriel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero EXP and zero gold. I don't really feel like I won. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Do you think she's called Toriel, like, Tutorial? Huh. That might actually be the case. That would be really funny. Ah, very good. You are very good. I know. <laughs> you see me take down that, uh, that dummy? <laughs> There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I, I wonder. Let's see if we can. Hmm? 
frog it attacks you. Okay, um... How you doing today, frog it? Well, threat, uh, threat or compliment? I'm... Let, let's start off by, you know, a little, little bit of kindness. Frog, it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Okay. <laughs> That's, didn't understand, but was flattered anyway. That's pretty funny. You won. You earned zero EXP and zero gold. It's, it's kind of unnerving that there isn't like a victory sound or a little song or something like that. But what does this say? The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Okay. Ooh. Those spikes don't look very friendly, to say the least. Can we do something with them? This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Ah, I see. And it's gonna mirror the, the wooden path, or like, the light purple path from the other room. I see, I see. Man, Toriel knows what she's doing. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. I mean, you were so proud of us just a minute ago. <laughs> you have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you, hmm? I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Whoa, what is this music? What's waiting for us at the end of this hallway? Oh, okay. I'm trying to, like... Pay attention to the vines on the wall, knowing there might be some sort of, like, code to input or something like that. But there are a lot of vines to keep track of. <laughs> How long is this going on? Is this one of those, like, never-ending... Oh! It seems it's ended. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I... I was totally worried you, you had left me. That was <laughs> what immediately crossed my mind. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. No way! <laughs> Thank you for trusting me. Yes, because that's totally what I was doing. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. Are you going to give us a, you know, a wooden sword? I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. That's not what I had in mind, but okay. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Okay. I'm waiting. Are we really supposed to wait here? We can move. I feel like... Am I supposed to actually wait here? I feel like the game is trying to mess with me. Like... Am I gonna get punished for being curious? Shocker, that, that happens in every game I play. Let's, um... Let's try... What does it start? Item? Nope, sell. Let's call her. Well, um... We can flirt? What? <laughs> There's no person that you should be able to call mom and flirt with. <laughs> That's... Judgment, they're obviously circumstances, but... <laughs> well, let's say hello. Can we... Can we... Can we leave now? <laughs> this is Toriel. You only wanted to say hello? Well then... Hello! <laughs> I hope that suffices. Okay, that was, that was pretty funny. Well, um... Alright, well, I'm... If you guys have seen any of my other playthroughs, you would know that Curiosity kills the Midnight Zero way too often. So this might get me killed. It might be the end of this already, um, you know, short episode when I have to start everything over, but... Well, uh, we'll move on. I'm too curious. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. Does she already know that we left the room? You have not left the room, have you? Ooh, yikes. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Yeah, we're totally being good. Guilt trip, guilt trip, guilt trip. Um, we get into battle here? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please. Use some mercy, human. Okay, so I guess that's the thing we can do. I'm uh, curious, you know, shinies always. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. <laughs> HP fully restored. I love the, uh, sure, we'll save. I love the little things they say. What, what do we got here? An altar of some sort? 
It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Again, I'm second guessing everything the game tells me to do, because it's like it'll tell me one thing and then play to my sort of like inner psychology to push me in one direction. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll take it. <laughs> Took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. What does this do? Monster candy. Monster candy heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Non-licorice flavor. I love that they specify, specify like not this type of candy flavor. All right, well, I guess we'll keep on moving then. Hmm? Oh. Frog, it hopped close. All right, um, well, we'll compliment you again. You, you know, your hair looks really nice today, Froggit. <laughs> hmm? Blushes deeply. That's... See you, Chan. <laughs> if anybody watches uh, My Hero Academia. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Oh, that's, um, this is our chance. You won! You were in... Hey, guys, we actually got some gold this time! We, we got some gold. So this... Um... This looks like we're gonna pitfall. Unsurprisingly, we have pitfalled into these lovely leaves. Oh, oh! I guess we're still open to random encounters here. Got ourselves another froggit. We will um, compliment you. <laughs> Didn't, still doesn't understand what we say, but it was flattered anyway. I appreciate it. Are we gonna have to dodge another? Whoa! Whoa! This is. I didn't know I was playing Toho. Didn't know this was a bullet hell game. <laughs> Um, seems we'd like to fight you. Okay, then we'll, we'll spare you. And, um, two gold, I guess? I guess we're making money at the very least. We're not getting any stronger, but... Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular. <laughs> Which do you prefer? Oh, boy. For no reason in particular. Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, easy butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. For no reason in particular. Another phone call? Hey, have you heard about my Rattata? My Rattata is the top tier of Rattata. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? No. I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Sure. Right? Right? I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Yeah, because we're totally waiting. Thanks for, thanks for the guilt trip again, Toriel. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Oh, okay. I've only got one here, but I'd imagine there'll be another set of rocks in the future. Alright, Froggit, we'll compliment you again, and hopefully we can uh, dodge the incoming attack after the deep blushing. What's it gonna be? Ah, these guys. Whoa, are these supposed to- whoa, we took a hit. And, oh, okay, I thought that was a zero at first, but no, it's 18, so we're fine. Um, spare. And it seems like that cleared that up. We'll keep on moving. I... I want to get over there, but... Um... I guess we'll head down, and there's a pitfall of sorts. And there's another area here. Let's see here. What do we got written here? Please don't step on the leaves. My bad. But... Oh, I see. Ooh, what is this? Whimson? Okay. Can we console you? Yeah, we're, we're like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna play nice guys. Halfway through your first word, Wimson bursts into tears and runs away. Oh, I I just wanted to help, I swear. But it looks like the um the leaves are showing where not to step on the pitfalls above. So that's what I'll try and uh remember. <laughs> he says optimistically. The question is how far over do we go? I think we're good to go up here. Now the question is, am I going to pitfall through here? I'm too curious, guys. I'm too curious. I want to know what that says. Let's, um... Let's see. <gasps> I mean, it's just a battle. I thought we were going to, like, trigger some sort of event or something. All right, Mr. Froggit. You know, I think your tongue looks particularly... That's not something I want to say on camera. <laughs> Even if I'm talking to a frog. Um, all right. That is not a very difficult attack to dodge, but... What are some what are some good compliments for frogs, guy? Or guys that you know, what are some good things I can say to to froggets that will make them feel better about themselves? You know, put a put a smile on their face for the day. So looks like we got three more rocks. I'm not forgetting about the rock from before, and you know, three out of four rocks do not like to be moved. I'd imagine we have to move two of these to solve this puzzle. But um 
I don't know which ones, and I don't really see much of an indicator. We'll just try... Worst case scenario, there are only six combinations, so... Whoa! You tripped me to a line of mold smalls? What are these? Well, um... Imitate flirt? What? These these look like a bunt cake. Like... Um, we'll, we'll imitate them. Whatever that entails. You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Whoa. Whoa! That is not what I anticipated. Um... Mold small waits pensively. I guess we'll see if we can do that. Whoa, they all... They all left. Okay, so there's one. There's two. That didn't work. Um, let's try this combination. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Is the rock talking to us? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. All right, I guess we'll, okay. Hmm? You want me to move some more? All righty, how is this? <sighs> this rock, the trolliest rock. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay, think I got it. <laughs> there you go. All right, let's walk across, whoa. I see you rock. I see you rock in your shenanigans. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? It's like that one genie, you know, that takes every wish and twists it in the worst way possible. You give me a real workout. <laughs> okay. I thought there was going to be some other event with the spikes. That's so funny. Mold small blocked the way. All right. Well, um, we'll we'll lay on, you know, the floor with the mold small and hopefully, you know, sympathize with it a bit. Sexy wiggle. What? What? That's not something I ever wanted to think of. A mold small sexy, sexily wiggling. Mold small is ruminating. Okay. And we got ourselves a nice shiny. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, <laughs> it fills you with determination. Okay. Let's see here. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm? Can we... That's pretty funny. Alright, well, I guess... Good luck getting that cheese someday, Mr. Mouse. What is... This looks like a Pac-Man ghost. Can we walk around it? No? Hmm? It's sleeping, apparently? Are they gone yet? <laughs> this ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. That's hilarious. I, I appreciate it. Z, 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 Z. So asleep. Move it with force? No. I think um, if we leave and come back, we might give it the opportunity to leave. No? Well, I... Ghost, I don't, I don't have a lot of time to record. People don't have a lot of time to spend watching. We gotta, we gotta get a move on. It's about time we use force. Not that I'm ever really a fan of, you know, <laughs> conceding to uh, giving, going through moving through force, but, all right, we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do. Don't take it too hard, ghost. Whoa. Here comes Napsta Bluke. Oh my goodness, I've heard this name before. You know what? Noah, I'm sure you're watching. I hope you're watching. I feel like you'd enjoy watching. Uh, one of my friends, Noah, at one point, his name was THG Napstabluke on Twitter, and I had no idea what Napstabluke was or anything like that. It must have been years ago. And I've heard a remix of this song um, with another YouTuber uh, that does Pokemon battles, but... Okay, so let's see what we can do with uh, Mr. Napstabluke. This music is clean. Flirt, cheer, threat. So, let's, uh, let's go with cheer. You gave Napstabluke a patient smile. Alright. Whoa, whoa, is he like crying? Wh what? This is hectic to say the least. <laughs> His tears attack us. Napsta Bluke looks just a little bit better. Okay. Okay, let's let's try it again. He told Napsta Bluke a little joke. <laughs> okay. Really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Was that an attack? Cheering seems to have improved Napsta Bluke's mood again. Alright. Let's let's give it a go. The game is telling us to keep going. Napsabluke wants to show you something. Hmm. Let me try. What? I call it Dapper Bluke. 
he making a top hat out of his own, like, tears? Do you like it? <laughs> That's really funny. Napsaluk eagerly awaits your response. Right, we're gonna- we're gonna cheer you on! Keep showing us all the tricks! Oh, gee. <laughs> I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. <laughs> oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Well, thank you, but I, I wish you'd come with us. What's over this way? Hmm? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. What's this here? Leave seven gold in the web. Huh? Space one out of eight. Ten. Oh, does that mean we have ten gold? Leave eighteen gold? Do we have eighteen gold? I don't know. Let's, um, let's try this. I don't want to give too much gold, but... I don't want to miss out on the experience. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. What? <laughs> we got a donut. Okay. Let's take a look. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Spider cider. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty funny. What do we got going on up here? Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. <laughs> Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Huh? <laughs> okay. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. Ah, I see, so... I'm gonna get some tips from these frogs. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. <laughs> yeah. What does this frog have to tell us? I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. I already figured that one out, don't worry. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. <laughs> Such a pensive frog. How about you? I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. Oh! What do you think of that? I, I did not know that. <laughs> it is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day, you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Sparing or fighting? Oh, here's your, uh, regularly scheduled guilt trip. Hello? I just realized that it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Okay. So don't carry too many things, it seems. There was just one switch. Okay. Cue the Nintendo click. <laughs> um, so it looks like there are multiple pitfalls and there's obviously a spike door. I feel like the game would aim for this one. And it seems I'm out of luck. And it switches to the left there. That said, I can't see all of the ones at the bottom. That one over on the left bottom looks like there's something going on. I definitely want to see what that is. Whoa! Vegetoid came out of the earth. Devour? What? Devour dinner talk? We'll, we'll chat with you. Plants can't talk, dummy. <laughs> Whoa, what is... Hmm, okay. Vegetoid gave a mysterious smile. Let's, um... Can't talk to you. Let's... let's... I don't want to devour them. Let's, let's go out to dinner. <laughs> you pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh. Okay, whoa. Whoa. That's... Interesting. Vegetoid's here for your health. Okay. Oh, and this is this is the yellow name they were talking about. So we should be able to do this, and we're good. We earned four gold. Ooh. Now, now we're talking. Four gold? All right, let's explore here just to be thorough. What do we got down here? Oh. <gasps> it's our buddy. I think, at least. Vegetoid came out of the earth. All right. Let's, um, let's heal up a little bit. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Whoa. He's bouncing all over the place. At the very least, I think we cancelled out one point of that three points of damage. Yikes. Um, oh, and he's already yellow, so let's let's spare and move on. We might need to use one of our items soon, unfortunately. So, Mr. Mr. Bluke down there is... Whoa. Migosp crawled up close. Multiple's already good to go. Let's, um, let's spare it for now. Mmm, cha-cha-cha, what? What are you... Huh? 
Is that is that even an attack? What? Megas doesn't have a care in the world. Okay, and and I guess he's ready to leave now. Okay. Well, we'll leave Mr. Mr. Bluke for in a minute. What do we got up here? Another another vegetoid, it seems. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Um, no, I do not want to fight. I want to. Uh, I love to eat a healthy meal. <laughs> Please, please feed me, Mr. Vegetoid. Eat your greens. Oh, whoa! That was not good, to say the least. <laughs> Sorry I'm failing so hard on that one. I gotta definitely gotta learn from there. Oh, and he's not even... Alright, well, unless we get hit by two of them in the next one, I think we'll be alright. So let's, uh, let's have some dinner. You pat your stomach. Alright, what is going on? Okay, we healed there, and we're good, okay. Cackle softly, and okay, yeah, I figured... It seems like after two, <laughs> you take him out to two dinners and he's uh, good to run away. Let's head on down here. Let's see what we got going on in this corner. What is that? You found a faded ribbon. Okay. Now let's go see um, our good friend, Mr. Bluke. Do we get to hear that nice music again? I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Why, does, why are his eyes not capitalized? <laughs> Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> That's pretty funny, honestly. Alright, well, let's finally activate this switch. Alright, and that should do it. Okay, on we go. Whoa, what is that? Looks true near. Don't pick on or pick on. I, I mean... I firmly stand against bullying. <laughs> Finally, someone gets it. What are these? Remind me of the ah uh, oh, darn it, the little circles from uh, Super Metroid against Mother Brain. You won. You earned zero XP and five gold. Oh, the thing, the thing's got some heavy pockets. Let's see here. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. I think I'm gonna use an item just to be safe. We'll use the monster candy. You ate the monster candy, you recovered 10 HP. So you got... What are these? It's a switch, press it? No, I'm good for now. Oh, it doesn't even look like there's an obstacle there. Um, we will not pick on you. Finally, someone gets it. I don't know what I'm what I'm getting, really, but... I, whatever it is, I'm getting it. <laughs> it gnashes its teeth. Well, either way, you're good to spare, so... We'll uh, keep on moving. Ah, I see. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Okay. That should be behind here. Another looks. Well, um, not to- Whoa, what is- What is that? Interesting. And he's good to, uh, spare. So cool, we'll do that. And this should be the blue switch. Cool. So we're good to go through here. And... What do we have to do in this room? If you can read this, press the red switch. Okay. I'm on my way. But first I need to not pick on this looks. Now they're gonna speed up. Oh darn it, I got too close to the edge. Smell smells like eye drops. It's um it's a new one. <laughs> um what was it again? The red switch? I think so. Yeah. Alright, cool. We'll head on up then. And um, we see blue, and that's it. If you can read this, press the green switch. If I recall correctly, it should be this one. It's a switch, press it. Nice. I'm glad we made it through that one. Two looks, what? Um, all right, we will, we will not pick on this one. Oh man, I wonder if the attack is gonna be more intense. Oh, it is definitely more intense because of the two of them there. Well, we can at least spare this one. I've got my eye on you. I see what you did there, Mr. Looks. Whoa. Whew. That was... Whew. Oh, he's still not... Dang, he's still not yellow. Finally, someone gets it. We'll, we'll give it a second shot. Um, all right, we made it. Nice. Cool. We'll spare you, and we should get 10 gold. Getting pretty rich here. And what do we got here? Huh? What's... 
What's this? Is that a tree? What? <laughs> Is this, uh, the Great Deku Tree? Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. Huh? <laughs> We're, uh, right in front of you, sorry. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. Thank you, thank you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this is not the reaction I anticipated. <laughs> I'm surprised curiosity didn't kill the Midnight Zero. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Hmm? Is it something you baked for us? Oh, it's a house of sorts. Well, let's um let's see what this shiny is. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Alright, we'll save and we'll enter this room now. In the next episode, I uh I'm really enjoying Undertale so far. The puzzles are pretty neat, the sort of atmosphere, the kind of sassiness it adds to it, and the sort of weird aura it has to it, this kind of like mysterious, there's something underlying here going on, and you're forced to kind of question what you're being told to do, um, what you want to do, what's conventional. I'm, I'm liking it so far, and I hope you guys are too. I know I, a lot of you guys probably know a lot more about this game than I do. But, um, and have a lot more, you know, to look forward to. But again, I want to stress, do not spoil things, please. And if you'd like to talk about this, you know, be sure to do so in the comments section or in HeroNet. There's a link in the description. And, yeah, let's keep solving more puzzles. Keep listening to some great music. Seeing some cool, funny enemies. Some witty dialogue in the next episode. But, until then, this is Moon Knight Zero. And this mission is complete.